you want something bad enough, you gotta make a bold move. George Washington took on the British Empire. Neil Armstrong walked on the moon. Ken Titus taped a hotel key to his underwear to score with an airport security guard. <laughs> Sir, please empty your pockets. Guess you're gonna have to search me for the corkscrew. <laughs> All right, you see something you want? Go after it, let nothing stop you, not even huge bouncers in a velvet rope. You don't even need fake ID. All you need to do is stand on the hood of a car going 60 miles an hour. Stop 8.4 feet from the bouncers. Your body will slingshot over the bouncers into the club where you'll be stopped by hitting your head on the neon beer sign. You just get up, you wipe the blood out of your ears, and uh, parte. <laughs> Sometimes when you make a bold move, there's consequences. But when your ass is against the wall, you got to make a bold move. Shop failing, bold move. Oh, at least I can still see. You know what I love most about relationships? Communication. Communication is when two people who love each other convey information through words or a gesture or maybe just a simple smile. Then I would understand why you sold my car without telling me. You know, when you say it like that, it does sound like I did something bad. <laughs> Look, you're scaring Dave. <laughs> Put down the wrench. Okay. I'll come out if you back away from the wrench. Hi. Hi. Christopher. Hi. Hi. Let me understand this, because I really, really want to understand. Okay, don't be scared. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell me how you could sell my car without asking me first. Well, you were sleeping. <laughs> and, and you look like a little angel. <laughs> Angels don't need cars, they have wings. <laughs> Give me the wrench. Should I? Dave. <laughs> I had this surprise for you, and I was gonna give it to you when you weren't so cranky. Hey, but it's a little late for that. <laughs> Ta da! A new car! An ugly car. Yay. No, 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 honey. It's a, it's a, it's a funny car. It's an ugly, funny car. <laughs> it's a fugly car. <laughs> But it's your fugly car. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Titus High Performance has officially become Titus Drag Racing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shooting down the alley like a bullet from a gun. Titus Drag Racing is number one. We're gonna race down. We discussed this. We don't need a theme song. <laughs> had to push it in here. Did you get it off the back of a truck? Well, you can't drive it, it's a piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> that we're gonna fix up and we're gonna race, yeah! <laughs> Dave, sing. Driving like we're chased by the devil's soul. I don't feel a wheel, baby, this is gonna be fun. Sing it! Ah! We're gonna race, race, race ya, we're gonna 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 race 
And bold moves require bold purchases, you know? A monkey can buy a VCR from a legitimate retailer, but if you get ripped off by punks in an alley, well, then you know you're a man. And if it happens during the street crime task force sting operation, then everybody and their grandmother will know that you're a man. <laughs> <laughs> VCR is broken. Let's try to find the receipt and take it back to the alley. Aww. So, this is my car, but I can't drive it. I, I know. It's complicated. <laughs> well, you can drive it if you want to go like 180 in a straight line. <laughs> Complicated. Well, let's just think. How do we simplify this? Well, we could find out what's wrong with you. I mean, come on, honey, we are a team. Say it. Team. We make decisions together. Together. Especially big financial decisions. I know it's complicated. Girls mature faster than boys. You know who came up with that? A chick. <laughs> she doesn't know stuff. How much stuff could she possibly know? Sha. <laughs> hey, hon, now that we have a half pipe, aren't you sorry you said no? Where are my rose bushes? Roses? I thought they were weeds. Whoa! No, they were roses. Christopher, I have to be at work in exactly 40 minutes, and I have no car. Did you give any thought to that? Well, well, I still have my car. <laughs> Come on, hon, I'll drive you. No! Why not? <laughs> because... You don't have the address. <laughs> but... <laughs> I know somebody who works there, you. And maybe you could ask you for directions. I'll wait. <laughs> hey! Car drive not work me! Everything think that solves you? <laughs> Something from me hiding you are? Aaron and I have been together almost three years, and I have learned her tells. When she's lying, words mouth from her flow not good. And when she's hungry, she angry like bull. Christopher, now. Hon, I just want to finish this. We'll go to dinner in an hour. You know what? I could eat now. What are you hiding? I'm not hiding, Chris. No, I am right here. What? What? Oh, I'm coming. What? Here I am! Oh my god, Titus, you bought the funny car! No, I didn't! You're lying. I know you're lying. What did it cost? I just put a down payment on the funny car. Where did you get the money? No, don't tell me. No, I better know. No, stop. Listen, just tell me that you got this money legally. Tommy? Close enough. Tommy? I don't know! <laughs> Tommy? Aaron? <laughs> Okay. I am taking you to work, and on the way, you're going to tell me what the hell is going on. No, no, no. You can't take me to work, Tommy. He cannot take me to work. No, you can't drive her to work. A lot of psychos out there. She should walk. Tommy? Hi. Come here. No, no, no. You know, you and I have been best friends a lot longer than we've known Aaron. Please don't do this to me. And what does friendship really mean to you? It's not fair, Titus. To me, it means giving my best friend a job. But she doesn't want me to tell you. I know. 
Hush, little Tommy, don't say a word. You tell Titus and you won't get hurt. Hey, sweet cheeks, change me. Oh! Tommy! Oh, my God! Don't tell Christopher! Oh, God! Aaron! Tommy! Aaron! Tommy! Aaron! Tommy! Dave! Dave! Thank you. Strip club? Waitress? Not better. <laughs> you told me you were working in a pancake house. Is it a strip club pancake house? No, oh, no, it's just a strip club, and I'm just waitressing. It's not really a strip club. It's like a private gentleman's retreat. <laughs> it's like a wild, naked chick preserve. <laughs> Erase everything you saw from your brain. Done. <laughs> Chris... It's not like he saw me naked. No, 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 no. But he saw you near other women that were naked. And when that happens, even the woman with the clothes on, boy, we see him as naked. <laughs> I should have been the one to see Aaron naked, not Tommy. Well, it's only fair. <laughs> Since I'm the person who likes her as a person first, if anyone should have seen her naked, I should have. <laughs> and if I did, I would look away. <laughs> Out of respect for our very deep friendship. Yeah. Tommy. Okay. <laughs> tumors. Uh, I can actually feel tumors growing in my body. Oh. Uh, Christopher, you're overreacting. I just served drinks there. Oh, no. That's worse. Oh, you know what guys think, hon? Guys think, well, I gotta pay for the girl sucking on the pole, but oh, 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 I can get the waitress for free. <laughs> wow. It's like you were there. Oh. You know what? Hun, you were one slow night away from just taking it off. You better find a better stripper name than Aaron Fitzpatrick. Well, honey, how about Aaron Fitz John? Or Aaron Fitz Steve? Or Aaron Fitz Rick? Or what the hell? Let's just go for it. Aaron Fitz everybody. Oh! <laughs> you came up with that a little too quick, Missy. <laughs> Is that why you haven't told me? Oh, that's it! That's it! I've got to see somebody naked! <laughs> There's a mirror in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to tell you, but then you would have just said, no, no, no. And then I would have had to say, please, please, please. And I didn't want to put you through that. Yeah, but remember? Oh. We were a team. Say it. Team. <laughs> we make decisions together. No. No, you know what I said? I said you can't make big financial decisions without me. Yeah, yeah but you can't make big naked decisions without me. Oh, uh, that's right. Shake it red. You know what I said. <laughs> to work. No. And you know what? Maybe tonight will be the night that Aaron fits everybody, takes a twirl around the pole. Oh. Aaron. Papa Titus. <laughs> oh, no. 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 Hey, little mama. Papa's thirsty. Watch it! Oh, oh my, my God. God! Dad, you saw Aaron working in the strip club? Well, gouge your eyes out. <laughs> Titus, do you know how much it's going to cost to rebuild that engine? Mr. Titus? Tommy? <laughs> oh, I don't even want to know. I can see clearly now the rain is coming. It's going to be a bright, bright, bright. <laughs> Anybody hears about this, and I'm going to bury you in a field. <laughs> 
be a bride. Bride, 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 sunshiny day. I have two words for you. Community theater. <laughs> you can't hide that beautiful light under a bushel, mister. <laughs> and no. Oh. Ah! You saw her working there and you didn't drag her out? You don't drag a woman out of a strip club. You put a 20 in your zipper and you back out slowly. <laughs> what? Outside. What? Dad, you know, she can't work in a place like that. You should have done something. All right, how much? Something, anything. Just get her the hell out of there. Numbnuts, how much money do you want to keep her from working there? Numbnuts? <laughs> Aaron is not going to work in that bar. I don't want to have to check every waitress's face before I pinch her behind. Three grand? What? Five grand. You know, you're amazing. My business is going under, you won't lend me money. I start drinking again, you don't lend me money. But my girlfriend makes you self-conscious about staring at the nipples of disturbed ex-cheerleaders. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you're willing to fork over five grand. Will you know something, Dad? I'll take it. You've got six months to get that money back to me. Yeah, I love you too, Pop. <laughs> what was that about? Um, I, uh, <laughs> I just kicked him in the ass. <laughs> and I said, I'm not playing anymore, old man. That's right, I said, you, you better fork over some green for your little boy, or, uh, or you can lose a layer of skin. <laughs> You decide. Which way do you think you went? You have my pen. <laughs> I'm sorry, Daddy. <laughs> Christopher, look, just take me to work. No, 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 you don't have to go to work because of the money. In fact, it's part of the deal that you actually can't go back there. Deal? Christopher! Hi. Oh, not hi again. <laughs> Explain this to me. First, you sold my car, and then you sold my job without asking me. Yeah, you know, I don't get you. I manipulate money out of my father, and, and I make it so you don't have to work at the knocker locker anymore. Without asking me. What do you, what do you, you like working there? What do you get off on it? Well, what I like is making my own decisions, and oh, yeah, I really get a kick out of guys leering at me and grabbing my ass. Yep. They grab your ass? Oh. <laughs> what are you just doing there, man? What must you think of yourself just shaking your ass for a group of losers? You, you don't want to have this conversation. Well, what is it then? I mean, the job's humiliating, it's demeaning. This conversation is done. Well, what are you getting out of it? Would you have another guy on the side? What? I work there because you can't support us. Can it just be another guy? I mean, I could beat up another guy. That's easy. I just... Uh, I'm sorry. You know what? If I suck so bad, why are you still here? Honey, you, you don't suck. It's just you think of everything so big, and you never have a plan. I bought a funny car. OK. Okay, great. So your plan is that you're going to race the funny car and win some money. No, I'd be like the brand new guy racing a top fuel funny car. There's no way I can win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your plan is that you're going to race the funny car and lose. No, hun, look. I'm gonna get Dave to do a badass custom paint job on the body. Then I'm gonna fix it all up, make it haul ass, do a couple of races. People see it, right? We get our reputation back. We get new customers, and boom, Titus High Performance is running again. Okay, okay, I finally get it. And you didn't tell me because it would take a whole extra nine seconds. Oh, well, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Christopher, I was ashamed about working there, okay? Happy? Well, so was I. You were ashamed about buying a car? No, that I can't support you. Happy? No, I wish you could support me. Well, so do I. Well, so we want the same thing. Well, then why are we yelling? Because we're passionate about this. <laughs> Christopher. Hi. Oh, hi. No. <laughs> it's a 
good high. Really? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, me? Give me, 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 give why? Because we're going to raise you, going to, going to raise you. <laughs> you see life big? You can't just tell someone else to see it big and expect them to get it. I mean, you, you actually have to show them how big life can be. And once they see it, well, you got them. <laughs> and once you get them, well, then you have someone to be stupid and irresponsible with you. <laughs> okay, you ready? All right. If you want something bad enough, you've got to make a bold move. Just make sure you clear the bold move with the people whose lives it's going to affect. Like George Washington had to get all those guys who the British killed to agree to die. <laughs> Neil Armstrong had to crank a couple elbows into Buzz Aldrin's face mask to make sure he got on the moon first. And Christopher Titus, well, he worked his dad for five grand. <laughs> who can't support who? <laughs> I know. It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs>